Greetings everybody, I'm Nick DiVirgilio and today's video is choosing the best lightweight hardware. Let's go. When it comes to lightweight hardware, there's two ways to think about it. One would be for the brand new player or young person getting their very first kit like a Pearl Roadshow, a Ludwig Accent, or a PDP Center Stage. All of those kits come with lightweight hardware. That hardware is fine and will definitely do the job when you're a beginning player just starting out. But when it's time to take the next step up, or if you're a professional player looking for an easier solution when you're lugging your gear all around, then this video is for you. Manufacturers from all the biggest names and drums have jumped into making lightweight hardware, and that's great for us players. Believe me when I say it makes a huge difference when you're setting up and tearing down every night. Going into every kind of club, restaurant, convention center, or hotel ballroom, having to wind your way through a kitchen of a facility you're playing at because you're not allowed to go through the front entrance. Believe me, I've done it a thousand times, and I wish that back in the day, I had all the options for lightweight hardware that you good people now have. Will lightweight hardware like the pieces I have around me today stand up to the rigors of the road? Well, sure they will, but it depends on the kind of music you're playing. If you're in a thrash metal band, it'll probably work, but it may not be your best bet. If you're in a jazz trio or something slightly mellower than a punk band, then any of the pieces I have around me here today will totally work. If you look at the pieces I have around me here today, you'll notice that there's tripods, and flat-based hardware, and that's the majority of all lightweight hardware out there. Tripods like this one are cool because you could take the legs, put it close to your kit. You can also put a leg of one of the other tripods through this and kind of get them close together. Really put a lot of hardware together with tripods. Flat-based hardware is cool because it kind of harkens back to vintage hardware of the day when it used to all be flat-based. And you can kind of get it underneath drums and around other drums as well. Before I get into the differences of the hardware I have around me here, let me show you how truly lightweight some of this hardware is. In this bag right here, I have the DW6000 Ultra Lightweight Hardware Pack. This bag is full of hardware, and I got it over my arm. You can't do this with heavy duty hardware. You'll never throw your back out carrying this hardware around. Okay, first I'm gonna start with some of the tripod hardware here. Grabbing a piece, of the PDP 700 series. Very sturdy, very lightweight. This doesn't weigh anything at all. What's cool about this one is the tilter. The cymbal tilter is really neat, works well, is sturdy and will hold any cymbal. This is a great piece. All of the cymbal lines come with a straight and a boom cymbal stand. So now let's go to the Pearl 830 series. Again, really lightweight, very nice double braced tripod here. And what's really cool is the Pearl tilters. So with any of these brands here, these are all professional brands. All of these companies are well known for making great hardware. So tilters like this, it's, it might sound like it's something small, but it makes a huge difference when you're setting up and tearing down every night. Next with the tripods is the Tama Roadshow. These are great stands, and this will probably be the stand you would use if you play in that punk or thrash metal band, but you need something lightweight to take on the road. Single braced tripod here, but it's really heavy duty and pretty thick, even though it's lightweight. This stand doesn't weigh much at all. The boom arm is the same arm you would get in their heavy duty stands, which is great. So it'll hold up a heavy symbol if need be. A fantastic Tama tilter, a quick release for putting your symbols off and on, and just a fantastic stand. Now let's get into the flat based hardware because there's lots of very cool options here. I'm gonna start with a pearl stand. So with most flat base stands, you can actually make them a little bit of a tripod. You could tighten it like that, right? So that definitely works as a tripod. It's not as sturdy as when the base is all the way down and flat, but it's not going anywhere and you have options to get it in close to your kit or spread apart however you want, especially if you need to get a leg over the top of another leg. A great pearl tilter and fantastic wing nuts that stay and lock in place. This is a very cool stand and very lightweight. For snare stands, there's a couple of options when it comes to the tilter. Something to think about. On my right here, I have a Gibraltar snare stand. Very sturdy, great flat base legs and everything. But the tilter has grooves inside to set the angle of the drum. The Ludwig snare stand here has more of a universal tilter where you can go anywhere you want with the angle that you set. One fun thing I'd like to show you, especially with this Ludwig flat base stand, is that you could take the foot off. You have two slits on the inside. You could put it on the second one. Now you have a little bit of space underneath the foot. So you can actually put this a little bit above the other stands 
and place it right on top. Instead of making it a tripod or using some other way to get it close to the other stands, just change the foot to raise it up a little bit and you can place it wherever you want. Another very cool thing to show you on this Ludwig flat base stand, again, super lightweight. It goes pretty high, that's a cool thing, but the cymbal tilter is pretty unique. It is totally universal, goes anywhere you want. You're not stuck to having any ridges on the inside, the angle's only set to certain little increments. You can put it anywhere you want, up or down, and that is a very high-end feature on a flat base lightweight cymbal stand. Now let's quickly talk about hi-hat stands. Again, the flat base hi-hat stands work really well. They are solid, they don't move a lot. Sometimes tripod hi-hat stands, especially the two-legged versions, the hi-hat moves all around and bounces when you're playing fast and furious. But these flat base stands, because they're low to the ground, uh, the stands stay in place and don't move around much at all. This Ludwig hi-hat stand feels really great, but the tripod is set the way it is. Say you have a double bass pedal, but you still wanna use flat base hardware. Well then, this Pearl flat base stand might be the best option for you because, loosen it up, the tripod actually moves and gives you space for a double pedal. Again, another really nice high-end feature on a lightweight stand. Last but not least in our hardware comparison here today is the Yamaha Crosstown Advanced lightweight hardware. This is probably the lightest of all the hardware here. Made out of aluminum, I mean, it weighs nothing. You can get it in a pack with its own bag, just like the DW hardware pack. It's just really cool that it just weighs nothing. Look at that, it's cool. I can flip it around like I'm, in, like I'm a band leader. Da, 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 da. I can do the, the things and the, the this and the that and the, no? It holds everything in place, it's great to play, it feels good, and it just weighs nothing. Has nice tripod legs, you get two straight cymbal stands, a snare stand, and a hi-hat stand in the pack. It comes with its own bag like the DW pack does. It feels really good and it works well, as all of this hardware does. So again, it's up to you of what style of music you're playing and what you need the hardware to do for you. Are you a pro drummer gigging every day? Are you a, sort of a beginner? Are you a weekend warrior where you don't play that much but you still wanna have the ease and use? All of these options will work well for you. Are you brand specific? Do you like playing just Thomas stuff or just Pearl or just Ludwig? All of those options are there. Make sure you contact your Sweetwater sales engineer for more information and to ask more questions. They're very knowledgeable and they can give you even more information on all this gear. What I'm gonna do now is pull in a little tiny kit, set up some hardware, and play us out of this video. Here we go. Well, I put a little kit together here so I can play some drums for you on the outro of this video. This Yamaha lightweight stand is still super light even with a cymbal on it. All of these cymbal stands around me will be the exact same way. And I hope this video was helpful for you to give you some options on lightweight hardware, flat-based or tripod bases. There's lots of great options from all of the best manufacturers in drumming. If you want any more info, make sure you contact your Sweetwater sales engineer. I'm Nick DiVirgilio. I'm going to play some drums. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.